Good morning, everybody. How are you doing today? Stephanie Ani here in Concord, California. And I am just doing a quick intro to this video. It's been a while since you've seen me talking to you um, because I've just actually haven't had the time to do intro videos to my videos. So, you know, I've been trying to post as much of my things as possible. Um, it's time consuming to do all this. So this is a super short video and uh, this is the page that resulted from uh, the whole process. So out of the out of the ashes you know, rises the flame. This is the flame page. It's the it's really hopefully I can get it to focus in on you. The detail is really stunning on this piece and um, I do love how it turned out. Took a while to get there because this page was originally something like this and this was not acceptable to me. What happened is I worked it, worked it, worked it, worked it, worked it and I went too far and I screwed it up and then I had to, well I kept trying to um, uh, remove the paint and try to take it back down to what its original shape was. And I was using alcohol. This is isopropyl alcohol, 99%. And it does do a really good job of um, dissolving things. It can take off stays on, it can take off Sharpie. Uh, alcohol really is a, a tool that you should have on your desk at all times. It truly is, it's cheap. And man, does it save your butt sometimes. In this case, it did not. And I used a couple bottles of this trying to get this back, back step. I went too far. So <laughs> by putting that much liquid onto my book, it did structurally affect the book. And it did structurally affect some of the pages. And so my Baroque page uh, is now one page instead of two. It caused pages to stick together. Luckily, my birds were okay. Um, so that was, it was very frustrating. And you can honestly hear it in my voice in the video. I'm completely frustrated and sad. I was really sad that this didn't work because it was cool. So, what I ended up doing, uh, I worked on it until about 1 30 in the morning, trying to get it to be something beautiful. I pulled it off the next morning, first thing. And that's uh, when the recording starts, basically, is after I've pulled off this chunk. I left a corner for you to see what I had to do. As you can see here, the um, when I pulled it up, only about half of the magazine pages came up. Um, so the citrus salt portion came up here. Left some of the metallic, though, from the paper on the book. So then I just had a bunch of ragged edges, like you'll see in the video. And when I had the ragged edges, I went in Tangerine Dream, Wild Honey, a little bit of mustard seed, probably a touch of London Blue from Dilutions. These are all either Ranger Distress spray stains or the Dilutions ink spray. Uh, the London Blue, and then, of course, I love the... Uh, broken China Dispress Stray Stain. These bottles stay on my table at all times. They are part of my palette and um, everybody kind of has their own color choices that they like to use. These, I love the effect that they give for me. I do have other ones sitting here, of course. The Fired Brick, in fact, that was most likely sprayed uh, on this page too. Oh yes, and of course. The abandoned coral. No, that's pickled raspberry. Picked raspberry. I thought I had an abandoned coral. Anyway, the fact of the matter is, is I was really enjoying the oranges. And I put enough of this ink down that when I put my um, stencil, sorry, I'm not really, I have to go to work soon. Like, in Five minutes. 
All right, the Art Extravaganza Texture Spray, or Texture Paste, Gold Crackle. This is an amazing tool. I keep using it in this book because I love the results. I use it on a lot of my canvases, and this is a great product. I do also have it in um, a bronze color. I like both of them. The gold shines a little bit more. Gold is a little bit mm, brighter. The bronze is a little bit more subdued. I can put those down now, can't I? Okay, uh, other things that I did use. Um, so I got the stencil, I let it dry overnight, and then I came back in with a little bit more paint. A little bit of deco art, blue metallic, a little bit of the Master's Touch Gold. These are both very uh, transparent colors, so you can put them down very lightly, and it just kind of leaves the reminiscence of the color behind. Um, this did have a little bit of blue in the background, so you can tell in here the little spots that I did put some of that blue in. It's kind of getting that fish scale iridescence in there. You can see that blue. That's from that uh, metallic. And then you can see kind of that other gold color that's in there other than the orange. So when I put that stencil with the crackle paste, it absorbed all of the ink that was on the page. And that's how you get this really cool orange is from, it, 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 the color is phenomenal. It's a coppery orange, it's very beautiful. Very happy with how it turned out. Um, I did go back through with a um, sanding block, knocked back some of the uh, texture paste, which I almost wish I wouldn't have. It wasn't necessary, n nor did I really. I was just trying to make it work. So I'm like, oh, let's try a little of this, let's try a little of that. Uh, next time, I probably wouldn't sand it. It didn't need it, and it actually took off some of the crackle, and I liked the crackle. Other things that I did was I um, used my Stazon ink and edged it. I most likely used the Timber Brown instead of the black because brown, I feel, is a little bit more richer color with a little bit more depth to it, a little more earth tones. I'm an earth tone kind of girl. Hey, I like my Gustav Klimt shirt. Pretty cool, huh? Gustav. He's, he's, he was an amazing artist. Saw his exhibition, oh gosh, over the winter. Okay, um, from the flames, from the ashes, you know, it's, um, I'm super happy with how this has turned out. I could put a focal on this. I should probably put a focal on this. I love the page enough to where I don't know if I really want to put a focal on it. There's the birds. There's this one, which this should, will have something. And then got this guy to finish up. Uh, this is this is the page that um, remember there was that whole other page. I just had to fold it over to make a pocket page out of it. It was sad. You will be seeing the videos coming up soon for my Ode to Georgia O'Keeffe. This is kind of fun, folks. This is kind of crazy. Uh, it's been a very technical page. And it's definitely got a lot of work left. Um, I will be um, taking the pages down. I think I'll be doing a bit of collage work. I have... Um, a lot of strips from her paintings. Copiers, these are all copied on LaserJet. So this page is still in process. And then the next video that you will get to see is my girls. And I, oh, this is hard to do, sorry. Oh, come on. I love these girls. And <laughs> I'm fighting with this book. I always fighting with this book. So that video will be coming up. Look at 
those too. That'll be coming up next. Hopefully later this week. And I've got my cityscape to finish. Which is crazy. And then my envelope page here. Which is going to be cool too. I'm just trying to get it all done. I really need to get back to work on canvases. And uh, I'm tired. I'm tired. But I'm loving it, and it's been a great process to go through. Um, I have had requests for more of uh, videos showing the construction part of it. When this book was constructed, I was driving with my sister through, I think we were in New York, but we were also, uh, I was on a 12-day trip with her where we went through numerous museums and 12 states and Canada and all of those things. So this book was constructed during that time, and then I started working on the application the last day of the vacation that I was there, which was actually, uh, the flight had been delayed a day. Oh, so much to talk about. Uh, again, this video is super short. Now I've just added 10 minutes to it, um, almost 12 minutes. And I've got to go to work because that's how I pay the bills. All right, everybody, take care, stay safe, be kind to each other. All right. Bye. Hey, everybody, good morning. <clears throat> How are you all doing today? Um, this was a failed project. This did not work out as I had planned, although at one point it was beautiful. I just went too far and kept working it and working it. Tried to back it out, tried to go forward, and uh, there, was, there was no rescuing this piece. And it kind of breaks my heart a little bit because it was cool, and I put a lot, a lot of time and work into it. So, I just left this little corner so you could see me, how I got these guys, because these pages didn't happen without the destruction of the pages that were above it. You know, and as I was walking, uh, working last night, I was just hoping that I wasn't destroying my other pages in my book by trying to fix this one certain page. It may have happened a little bit. It may have affected things. Acrylic paint is very elastic, very uh, rubbery. So that's what you're seeing stretch is the acrylic paint.
Hello everybody. Hey, how's it going everyone? Happy Saturday. Um, this page I just finished up. This page gave me some really big issues, so I had to use a lot of alcohol to try to fix it, and it didn't fix. And then I went over it with the stencil and crackle paste and painted and I do like how it's turned out now, but consequently, it did do some damage to the book. 